Hi everyone and Happy New Year! Warm welcome back to my channel on this beautiful winter day. Or maybe it's summer where you are located. Either way, welcome and Happy Happy New Year to you. And I hope that this year will be bring you a lot of joy and nice moments. I have been waiting for some weeks uh, from Christmas and New Year to film a video about what I got for Christmas and New Year because I wanted to actually try some of those things out to be able to share my opinion actually in a, a video, not only a, like kind of unboxing. And I think it's now time. I will share what presents did I get and uh, I will share what I think about those items. Are they practical? Are they useful? You know, as I usually do. And generally for these holidays, I've encouraged all of my close ones to donate to different organizations instead of buying presents. I just wanted to have uh, cozy holidays with my loved ones. But still, of course, I got some smaller things and one bigger <laughs> that I will share with you today. I would like to begin by showing you this beautiful postcard. It really summarizes how this winter feels to me. Uh, it's a uh, an artist called Levy, and uh, at least where I am located, the holidays felt exactly like that. Many cold but beautiful days that I've spent uh, outside mostly. And you may have watched my video about cross-country skiing in our beautiful landscape. Generally, this is then one of the most beautiful postcards that I've ever seen. And so the first thing that I want to mention is this beautiful set of gua sha and uh, face roller. They are made of uh, natural stones, so this is the natural quartz, and this is rose quartz. And I've had the same kind of gua sha just uh, in jade, but it got broken unfortunately, it fell from very high. So I'm really glad to have a new set. And this set is from the same brand as my absolutely favorite face oil ever which is called Sunshine Elixir. And you can see that it's handmade in Denmark. And this is the brand by Achilles Holistic Skin Care. I've been using this uh, oil for five years plus, uh, as in addition to my hydrating or moisturizing creams. And uh, I mean, it's insane how good this is and how it smells. And it really gives like radiant and glowing complexion. So I, I really, really love it. And I'm applying this oil and then I'm doing a massage using these tools. Have a look how beautiful is this set. And it really feels like incredible quality as well. So definitely something that I will enjoy throughout all the year. Then I've got uh, two things from Aspinall of London. And the first one is a pair of sunnies. We'll have a look at these. These are like cat eye effect in a really special color that is like beige but it's it sometimes resembles more like milk white and what i like the most here is that it's with letter a on the edges and my name starts with a letter a so i'm really glad that i got them it's a present and then also from aspinall of london i got this beautiful pouch it's uh, in the leather really good quality leather as all the aspinall of london items and it is embossed with lizard print here you can see on the other side i think it's really discreet and nice and uh, have a look inside it's a navy blue lining really nice shade oh i still haven't removed all the stickers but I've already been uh, traveling once with this pouch uh, to a work trip and uh, it was very comfortable, very practical. It's a really good size to put your essentials in. Of course, it's white, so I mean, one could say, why, why not another color? But I wanted to have some light pouch and perhaps I can sometimes wear it as a clutch. I'm not sure, maybe not, but uh, as a pouch, it's uh, really nice. And I like the contrasting lining here and the quality and the print like everything so it's very nice and uh, discreet i would say as well then i would like to share with you that i got a nail dryer nail dryer lamp for gel nail polishes it's with lead and uv light and of course what's the use of nail dryer if there isn't any nail polish and so i've got also this uh, nail polish set 
this brand, as it as it seems, has less chemicals in their polishes, so it's, it sounds really good. I have never ever tried doing gel nails myself, but here's my first try. I'm using a transparent nail polish, but I think that it looks really really nice. But yeah, it took time for me to to do this, but I like the final result. And the Slam has dried uh, the gel really well, and it's I think fifth day or maybe four, fourth, fifth day. Share with me in comments if you have noticed that it's a homemade nail saloon result. <laughs> but yeah, I think it uh, really gave the result. And after all these days, my nails are still shiny. And I... But let me know in comments, what do you think? <laughs> I've also filmed how I was using these products for the first time, but I'm not sure if that's an interesting video. So uh, I haven't decided yet if I will post that video or not. But... Okay, and, and next one I would like to show you a book that I got from my daughter. It's about 48 laws of power. And uh, we've been discussing different topics about like society and different people, like international governance and um, generally discussing a bit politics in the past months. So I'm, I'm really impressed that uh, my daughter chose this book. I'm almost half through the book and it's really impressive collection of uh, laws related to power but also illustrated through the tactics of different famous figures like queens, kings, uh, politicians and uh, other people who are known to have had a lot of power in the world and it's not necessarily like for people who seek a lot of power but uh, just for everyone who is interested in understanding power dynamics in the world and in general it's really mindful because I have a leading role uh, I, I apply my leadership skills every day at work and therefore uh, this is a good piece of literature to understand uh, other people. Really interesting to read about different figures across different times, how they use their power and uh, where they're good leaders or where they're more of a di dictators. Okay, and I've been saving best for the last part of the video and that's the biggest present that I've received. Maybe you have noticed it already uh, while I was sharing everything else, but have a look. So I have received this gorgeous tennis bracelet in white gold and diamonds. Uh, it's just incredible. I have been thinking about a uh, tennis bracelet for so long, but I was not sure. I mean, if it's not too boring. So it was certainly in my wish list, but it was never like top priority. But when I got it this uh, Christmas, I was over the moon. I mean, it is simply just so, so gorgeous. And the diamonds are amazing quality. They they are so shiny, especially on the sunshine. You know, uh, I just love it. And I love how it looks together with my Cartier Panther watch and also uh, my wedding and engagement rings. I'm not sure though if I should wear uh, the tennis bracelet together with my watch to not scratch it uh, because they are touching each other all the time if I wear like that, you know, but let me know. Maybe you have experience wearing tennis bracelet with your watch. I think it really is a nice combination overall. Very classic and simple. So beautiful. And if I'd like even more of a sparkle someday, I can also put my ring with small diamonds on this finger. So before receiving tennis bracelet, I, I sometimes had this ring to bring a little bit of more of sparkle, but now maybe it's even too much if I put both uh, this ring and the bracelet. I don't like to wear too many accessories at the same time, so to me it feels like a bit too much. At the same time, the metals and stones really match each other here. So yes, definitely this bracelet is uh, what I think was the biggest surprise. Uh, it's also the most expensive item that I've received. Of course, I also have uh, received like sweets and uh, panettone and similar things. Uh, they are already consumed. Uh, I think I have just one chocolate box left. And then just generally talking about uh, Christmas sale, I only bought one item. Yeah, and it was just something that I bought to myself from House of CB. Uh, an address from House of CB. It's an address that I've been eyeing for a while, but I somehow couldn't justify the price of it for long. And now, of course, it's very difficult to show you the address uh, in a limited space that I have, but I think it's maybe also interesting to see a close-up in case you have uh, seen the advertisements with this dress. It's called Carmen. 
and it's uh, with a corset. I haven't removed the security seal yet, but anyway, this is the corset that the dress has. And here you can see a close up of the material. It's really good quality material. It also has a very delicate lining. It's a bit thicker material than I, than I was thinking from the start, but it's, and it's not stretchy at all. Uh, so I would recommend to consider that. Yeah, but it is, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous dress that I will be wearing a lot in the summer. I also really li like the length of it, that it's not like too short dress. Yeah, perhaps I shouldn't have included that uh, dress because it wasn't a present. It was my own purchase um, during Christmas sale, but I, I was still thinking it can be interesting to hear about it on the same go. <laughs> But that's it for today's video, a short update and, and well, not not too many gifts, but some really useful and special ones. And uh, I will maybe do a more thorough review of this tennis bracelet once I get used to it a little bit more and they can tell more about pros and cons of having one. But otherwise, big thanks for watching and happy, happy new year. Bye for now.